Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 18 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create virtual machine on vSphere vCenter server 7 or you can say the ASXi7 so process is going to be a remain similar if you are going to create a virtual machine on a vCenter server or ASXi7 so both is going to be slightly same so in last few videos since uh, part 1 to part 17 we have configured our VMware infrastructure and the and it's uh, now totally configured uh, we have configured the e install and configured ESXi host we have configured the uh, data store we have configured the storage for uh, ESXi host we have configured the cluster we have configured all the distributor switch and everything so basically the our infrastructure is ready to um, uh, being used by the virtual machine and workload so we can we can now go ahead and play with the virtual machine deployment and other things like clone snapshot and templates we can we can do those things so now in this video we are focusing on how to create a virtual machine so if you see here we have a multiple option to create a virtual machine the uh, first option is going to be a create a new virtual machine then we have option to deploy from template clone the existing virtual machine clone the existing template and clone the template to template so we have uh, and the last one is convert template to virtual machine so we have all these options so i'm going to focus on the first option which is going to be a create a new virtual machine in this video and following videos we are going to deploy a virtual machine from template and we are also going to create some templates so let's get started so from, from last video i have created I have changed my infrastructures a uh, little bit so the basically so basically I'm I'm trying to build a setup for the NSX lab because I'm getting too much request to create a uh, videos and NSX platform so I'm uh, I have created this infrastructure for uh, same infrastructure basically which we are using on VCP7 so later on I'm going to use this uh, platform to create a uh, video for the NSX all as well. So the first machine is Win2K12 DC01. This is my domain control basically which providing the active directory and domains uh, domain and DNS services to my infrastructure and we got one uh, vCenter server which is INVCS7 which is running VMware vCenter up uh, server appliance 7. So you can see I have deployed this on my uh, VMware workstation itself it's not nested on the ESXi host so it's uh, directly deployed on my VMware workstation now and next we got three ESXi hosts ESXi 1, 2, 3 so all three ESXi hosts you can see it's running here so I have added all these three ESXi hosts in my uh, cluster which is India prod and you can see all these three um, basically a nodes ESXi host and we got folder structure also so we got prod servers we got management servers so now to deploy new virtual machine you can go anywhere basically you can go and create an action new virtual machine you can right click on our folder or even you can go and right click on a cluster or ESXi host you will get the uh, new virtual machine uh, button so it's not going to make some difference if you uh, click right click or uh, anywhere so let's click here on a cluster so you will get some extra uh, options to select the uh, ESXi node and others so I'm going to click on cluster and then new virtual machine and then you will see the same options which we have here on a screenshot so I'm going to uh, select the create new virtual machine click next and then we are going to type name so I'm going to type win2k16 vm02 and then you can see the folder structure also so I'm going to put it in here um, prod servers and then click next and then it's going to give you cluster uh, even you can select the host also so I'm going to select the my cluster click next and then it's going to give you the storage option so I'm going to select this uh, my cluster storage so click next so you can see also we have options if you have a uh, any policy applied so you can select those policy also so click next and then you got the ESXi compatibility version so my all ESXi host is running ESXi 7 so I'm good with this click next and the operating system which you need to select so I'm going to select uh, 
2016 also we have other options like Linux and other options so I'm going to select Windows and uh, Windows Server 2016 so click next and then you have a customized hardware so you can customize the hardware like I want to increase the memory so 6 gig of memory also you can uh, like select the disk size so I'm going to make it 61 60 gig and also you can select the disk provisioning so I'm going to select thin provision disk so you have some other options now I'm going to select the VM network for this virtual machine to use VM network and then you got the CD drive and others if you go in new network you will see it's uh, by default it's connect E1000 network so we need to select VMNX3 which is the new one and then we got the option to select the ISO so I'm going to mount my data store ISO which is for Windows Server 2016 so ok I'm going to mark it connect and also you can remove un unnecessary uh, uh, devices like USB 3 and other if you wish so we are good with this option just click next and you can see all the settings which we have gone through this wizard so just click on finish so now you can see we got this virtual machine created and also if I show you we got the details also here tags detail we don't have any tag and other details like uh, VMware HA is enabled on this cluster so you can see our uh, host failure is going to restart virtual machine so everything looks good just we need to click on power on so now when you press the power on you will see this machine is going to be power on soon and now I'm going to launch the remote console to connect to this machine and then we can install uh, start the installation of this machine can see here I am going to press uh, control turtle and it's going to press enter to start the installation so installation is going to be pretty simple it's not going to be very advanced say similar windows installation next next and finish so it's going to install the operating system and once the installation for the operating system done we need to go ahead and install the VM tools on this machine so we'll do that um, so just going through the installation wizard so you got the Windows Server 2016 so we need to click on next and then install now and then it will uh, scan for the operating system which is available on this image so you you will get the option to select the operating system like a standard or data center so I'm going to install Windows Server 2016 standard with data center experience so click next and then it will show you the disk details so custom install install windows only and you will see here 60 gig uh, 61 gig drive is attached so click on that and now it will initiate the installation so installation is going to take few minutes uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes so I'm going to pause the recording and once the installation done I will resume from uh, there and we will install VM tool and we'll see how the VM tool uh, uh, need to be installed post the installation of this op uh, virtual machine so now you can see the installation is finished and we got the uh, uh, prompt to uh, set the password so I'm going to type my password so uh, once the virtual machine installation is done you will f uh, you will see the mouse is not going to behave properly so for that you need to install the VMware tools so I'm going to use some keyboard uh, for finishing this installation and installing the uh, VM tool so you can see also the network is not going to recognize uh, without the VM tool so we need to install the VM tool to get it uh, get this machine on a network so I'm going to use my keyboard to get the installation done for the VM tool so to install the VM tool you can go here on the basically there was a multiple option you will see uh, it's going to highlight somewhere in uh, your VCSA console also so I'm going to click on manage and install VM tool so this will mount the CD drive for the VM tool so I'm going to you can see the drive is mount now and it's visible so I'm going to use my 
uh, CD drive so let's go sometime it's hard to work uh, with the keyboard so now you can see we got this uh, VM tool drive and now I'm going to run the setup which is setup.64 because my server is 64 bit operating system so it's going to be very light application light tool so it can be installed within I guess one minute so again you can see So just click next and you need to go with the default typical op options so if you uh, if you are using some advanced tool then definitely you need to select those uh, component during the installation uh, otherwise you can go with the typical and it will install all required necessary things for the server to virtual machine to work properly so you can see now it's going to install all the drivers and you can see also network is now recognized on this machine since let's install the NIC drivers so now it's installing the performance monitor so once this installation is done for the VM tool uh, the machine require one reboot to finish the installation so go ahead and restart this machine so now the basically installation of the um, creation of the virtual machine installing the operating system and installing the uh, tool is also done on this machine so now if if you wish you can go ahead and join this machine in domain and you are done for the um, basically creating and installing new virtual machine on vCenter server so let's wait for the machine to come up and then we'll verify the network and other details and also we'll see here that it's going to VM tool is going to uh, showing uh, the version details and other so just let's log into this machine so you, you will see the mouse is now starting working properly so this is good news and also you will see the VM tool is going to run here so the installation is done you can remove the installation media and you can do some post installation tweaks in this machine so this is all done So now you can see the machine got the, uh, all the information like DNS name and IP address details uh, with the help of the VM tools which is running now on this machine you can see also the VMware tool is installed and running so this is all about how to create a virtual machine on uh, v, v, VMware vSphere Center vCenter Server 7 or ESXi 7 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye